What's up, everybody? Justin here from Poorly Reviewed Beer. A uh, bit of a special video today, as I mentioned on Twitter. Uh, I'm doing today what I'm calling the Westbrook Claws. Uh, Westbrook Brewing Company is located in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, down near Charleston. Uh, so when they have in the, their core lineup, uh, what they call their One Claw Rye Pale Ale. Um, and then they have a couple of uh, special release beers called Two, Two Claw and Three Claw that are uh, also, they're both IPAs. Uh, but, but similar, I'm kind of in the same family, if you will. So I have all three of them. I was lucky enough to, the, the two claws fairly, fairly regularly available, but I was lucky enough to pick up the, the three claw when it was released uh, earlier this year. Uh, so I'm going to try all three in one video. Now, before I get to uh, the first one, I want to let you know, I'm going to kind of space this out over the day. It's about 1130 in the morning today on Sunday. Uh, so I'm going to space this out so you'll see the light change a little bit on the video from the the sun and whatnot. So that's why. But um, let's go ahead and get right to it. I'm going to do them in numerical order. So we are starting off with One Claw Rye Pale Ale. And uh, I only have the information from the cans. I'll get to that uh, a little bit later on. But here's what they have to say. One Claw is a rye pale ale made with a heavy handful of malted rye and scoops of our favorite hop varieties. One Claw is dedicated to those who bring a Westbrook home, to a friend's, or anywhere delicious beer is needed. Cheers to you, fellow One Claw. Again, this is a rye pale ale. Okay, so, wow. A good amount of head on it. That's probably about two fingers worth. Uh, very cloudy. Lots and lots of particulate matter uh, inside the beer as I'm looking at it. Uh, in terms of color, it's kind of a lemony yellow going into yellow gold a little bit. And as I hold up to the light, um, really kind of affirms the kind of sound like some lemonade highlights, but certainly that uh, pretty much a, a yellow gold core. So, uh, but nice color. And again, I'm very surprised by the amount of uh, material inside the, the glass here floating around. But uh, let's go ahead and get to it. Mm. Plenty of tropical fruit there in the nose. And really very much carries through into the, uh, especially the front half of the tasting experience. Uh, again, plenty, plenty of uh, tropical fruit, probably mango, I think especially, maybe a little bit of citrus in there as well. Not really sweet at all, and I'm getting a little bit of, uh, of malt to it. Get coming from that malted, uh, malted rye, I'm guessing. And then that rye is also bringing out a, a spicy peppery note more in the back half of the, the drinking experience uh, for me and really kind of carrying through into the into the aftertaste. That back half might also have a little bit of the like um, like fruit greens, uh, stems, leaves, whatever you want to call them. I'm in particular thinking of like, like uh, pineapple leaves or fronds or whatever they are called uh, not, not necessarily a ton of pineapple in the in the flavor profile for me it's more of a uh, a mango uh to it exactly but um and the bite is kind of again kind of midway through and going towards the back uh kind of joining up with the the rye and the the green notes to it uh not especially not especially um, bitter, though it does kind of hang around the back of the throat a little bit. Uh, but not bad though. That's um that's actually a, a nice, a uh, nice pale ale. A little bit different with the rye. I haven't had this in in quite a while. I've maybe had it once or twice before. But um, yeah, good stuff on the one claw. And uh, let's go ahead and we'll move on to the two claw. Moving on to the next beer now. Here is Westbrook Two Claw Rye IPA. 
Uh, more or less the same can design as the uh, the one claw. There, just a lighter, lighter blue pushing on kind of a light teal, of course. And let me see if I can get a good look at it. Two claws on the crab, of course. One claw on that crab. Two claws on that crab. Uh, so, I'm not a big fan of the Westbrook website, I have to admit. They have all the core beers listed and information on them, and that's great, but it seems like a lot of the seasonal and specialty stuff seems to be not necessarily on there, and it seems to be a lot of things that maybe they have them as small batches or one-offs in the their tap room or you know either they're serving them on draft or they have them in bottles down there in uh near charleston in their tap room but uh a lot of the stuff that gets some of the wider wider distribution i have trouble finding information uh that included this two claw and the three claw so i'd reached out to westbrook to see how i get some uh some like neat information about all three beers really you know maybe some uh little known facts or stuff like that and basically, I, so I emailed them, and they basically sent me copies of what's written on the cans. So, uh, that's what we got. So, I'm going to go ahead and read what's on the can uh, for the Two Claw. You know the old saying, Two Claws are more than one. The big brother of One Claw is heavily dry hopped for an intense blast of juicy and tropical hop flavors. Uh, it says, malts, malts used are two-row rye wheat notes. And for hops, it just says yes. Uh, this is 7% ABV. So let's go ahead and pour this. Nope. <laughs> so that was a rather aggressive pour. And it resulted in a lot of head. Uh, what is that? Probably going on three fingers for me. Yeah, so probably more three and a half to four. Um, whoo. That's a, uh, wow. I'm going to see if I can get the rest of this in here slowly but surely. Oh, some riveting YouTube video right here, I know. <laughs> uh, so, hmm. quite hazy, a nice kind of, uh, wow, nice lemon yellow color. I'll get to what I'm tasting uh, momentarily. Uh, nice yellow, nice lemon yellow color, I would say. Pretty much can't see through it at all. I can kind of see the, the shading from my fingers on the other side. But, um, otherwise not much to, uh, not much to the see on the other side. Kind of holds the same color, a little bit of a pale yellow highlight, uh, around the edges. But otherwise holds the, the color fairly well with all the all the occlusion in the glass. Uh, the foam was quite, uh, quite, quite hoppy. Has a lot of bite. Let's, uh, let's check it out, uh, for real. So yeah, definitely getting some of that, uh, <coughs> excuse me, some of those tropical fruits again, some mango, maybe some peach is not necessarily tropical, but some, some fruits along those lines, but it is uh, a bit of a hop bomb. Uh, there's something else going on. Something kind of dank, maybe. There's a little bit of a funkiness to it, especially in kind of the back half. Uh, the back half and into the aftertaste a little bit. I'm really kind of holding on my t holding on my tongue and the back of my tongue and back of my throat as a uh, well after I've drank the beer. Uh, maybe not getting quite as much of uh, like the the rye side of it, the peppery spicy side of it as I like. Maybe maybe a little bit in the middle of the drinking experience, and I'm getting some of it in the aftertaste as well. But uh, 
It's really kind of dominated by a fairly funky note. Earthy and funky. So, um, I probably like this a little less than the, uh, the two claw or the one claw to be honest, but, um, maybe it's just not quite, uh, not quite my thing. For me, it's drinkable at minimum, but I don't know. It's something I'm going to pursue a lot of the tropical, no the tropical fruit notes, um, are, are, are nice, but the rest of it is, uh, I'm just not a big fan of. But um, that's all right. Not all beers are for everybody. But um, so that's the uh, the two claw, and that's the rye IPA. So let's move on to the three claw. All right, the third and final beer, Westbrook, three claw Imperial IPA. And we can see three claw three claw crab, right there. Otherwise, again, uh. Fairly uh, similar can art, though this comes in a 16-ounce can. Uh, and it's purple, of course. Uh, all they have to say on this uh, on this can, the biggest and juiciest claw of them all. Malt, two-row, wheat, oats, carapils, and rye. Hops, you betcha. 8% uh, ABV. Okay, so, uh, not super hazy. I was just taking a quick look at the can. The, uh, the two, the two row, uh, I'm sorry, not the two, the two claw actually said, I mentioned how hazy it was and it said, uh, the haze is intentional. There it is. Finally focused. Uh, haze is intentional. I was, I was looking for that and this can does not say it. Uh, and it's not super hazy. Uh, there's a little bit of a cloudiness to it, but it's uh, fairly minor, especially compared to the first two. Uh, about fingers worth of head, maybe a little more. And a fairly similar color to the other two, other two that yellow gold with, um, I would bet, some yeah lighter yellow highlights. Uh, maybe just a little bit darker highlights as it holds up to the light uh, than the other two beers. Let's uh, check it out. So it certainly leads off with some of the the boozy sweetness that you'll get uh, with an Imperial IPA or a double IPA. And um, a, a good amount of spiciness, I think, compared to the other two. I think it's a little more ramped up. The spiciness, the pepperiness coming from the rye. Uh, the spices are kind of felt throughout. The pepperiness is kind of more in the back third to back quarter of the tasting experience. Maybe just a little bit on my, uh, in the back of my throat in the aftertaste. And maybe just a little bit of multi sweetness as well. In, in addition to the, the booze note, which is present again, it's 8%. So that's, uh, not necessarily unusual. It's, it's, it's present. It's not uh, super pronounced. And again, I think there's a little bit of a, a multi note, a multi sweetness going in there as well. I do feel like I'm, I'm picking up like a a bready, rich biscuity kind of a a note in there. Mm. Super super tasty though. Uh, real good, real real solid uh, Imperial IPA. Yeah, really 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 terrific. So if I were to go ahead and uh, sort them, I'd probably go. I would probably go with this one up over the the one claw. Two two claw would certainly be my uh, be ranked number three of what I've had. I'd probably put this over the over the one claw, which which I think was very very good as well. But um, this is super tasty. It's nice because I mean again, it's not it's not super high ABV. Eight, eight percent to a good number but it's not super high for these uh imperial ipas and the like but uh it's kind of just enough of the the boozy note and the sweet boozy note to 
Uh, make them present, but not uh, not overpower uh, your palate or the whole beer. Again, it does give way for some of that maltiness and the rye notes as well. So really, really great this uh, this three this three claw from uh, from Westbrook, Westbrook Brewing. Uh, those are the, the the Westbrook claws, all three beers, and that's it for this edition of poorly reviewed beer. You can find all my reviews, both video and written, along with news commentary and more, at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also, check out PRB on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Untapped. You'll find those links and usernames in the description below. If you're so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer. Mm -hmm.